Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here, presenting another how-to video. In today's idea, we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate a new feature recently rolled out by TradingView called Order Presets. Now in trading, every second counts, and all traders know how important it is to place orders on the exchange quickly and efficiently. And to help with this, TradingView has introduced a new feature to their platform called Order Presets. Now this new feature is gonna allow users to create and save order configurations, which will greatly simplify and speed up the trading process. Now, why exactly has TradingView created these order presets in their platform? Well, for one, it's going to speed up order placements. That means no more manually filling in all the parameters on the order ticket. All you need to do now with these order presets is to simply select a pre-save preset and all the necessary data will automatically be filled in. Two, you'll be able to quickly switch between strategies. So you can change your tra trading strategy with just one click, which is especially useful in a fast changing market. And then three, you're going to be able to place pending orders in the trading mode without any confirmation as well. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to apply and create order presets using the TradingView platform. So right now we're looking at an exchange traded futures contract, which is the mini S&P 500 that trades on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And we're going to go and open up a trade ticket from our trade panel. And the first thing that I want to mention is the order presets are only available to create on the order ticket. And once you create them on the order ticket, you'll be able to see them on the chart trader as well, which I'll, I'll show you in a moment. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your configurations. For example, do you want to sell? Do you want to buy? Do you want to place a market order? Do you want to place a limit order? Do you want to place a stop order? Uh, how many contracts? And as well as do you want to attach a take profit and stop loss to the order preset as well? Now, one thing that I want to point out is whenever you're looking at the order ticket or your chart, you'll always see the bid and offer price. So here you can see 6014 by 14 and a half. Same thing here. And the reason why I point this out, because it's very important to understand a couple things. When you're creating order presets, you're not so much focused, whenever you're using limits and stops, that is, you're not so much focused on the actual price that you see here as you normally would when you're placing just regular orders that are not order presets. But if, when you are creating an order preset, you don't want to spend too much time focusing on this actual price. What you really want to focus on is on the right side value column here where it shows ticks. So if I select sell order ticket, you know, if I hit the drop down, notice it shows bid and you'll see these plus and negative values. But if I change this to a buy ticket, notice now it changes to ask and it shows the same plus negative values. The reason why I point this out is because remember, these are order presets that you're going to create and, and store away and use for a future date perhaps, right? So right now market's trading around 1475 by 15 even, but let's say a month from now or even a week from now, the market might be trading at a completely different price level. Right. So that's why it's not so, you know, you don't really want to focus so much on the price value. You really want to focus on the value on the right side here, because that's essentially the rule that's being created for the order preset. So let me go ahead and demonstrate what I mean. So right now I want to go ahead and place a create an order preset for a buy order on a limit. And I want to go ahead and make sure that I place this order below the current market price. Right. So we don't know where the market's going to be from a week or a month from today, right? So what's important for you as a trader to understand is, and every trader should know this, that limit orders and stop orders can only go on certain sides of the market. So for example, a buy limit can only go below the market price as far as a pending order. Sell limit's gonna go only above the market price, a buy stop can only go above the market price, and a sell stop can only go below the market price, all right? So if you, the one thing you wanna make sure is that you're creating an appropriate rule when you're using limit orders, okay? So if this case, if the ask is, a value of negative four, that's a good price because that means that the buy limit order will be placed at 6014 because the offer price is at 6015 right now. But if I change this to say, let's say plus four instead, as shown here, that means the buy limit will be placed at 6016 and that's not a good order because the market's already trading at a better price. So if you create an order preset with the incorrect value, as I just mentioned, you're actually going to get filled quickly at the market price. So watch what happens. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and just create this order configuration. We'll go ahead and just take away take profit and stop loss for now. And I'm just going to hit this little button here at the top. This is where you actually create the order preset. So you'll see where it says order presets and you can save the order preset. So I'm actually going to call this wrong parameters. All right. So this is obviously demonstration purposes. This is not what you want to do in a live environment. You hit save. And now, now the preset's been created, you can see it there, wrong parameters, right? So if I click it and then I hit this buy button, that's the additional step that you actually have to do in order for you to actually send the order to the exchange. Watch what happens. Now I'm actually in the position, all right? Because I placed the buy limit four ticks above the offer price, which is above the current market price. Exchange said, hey, wait a minute. 
market's trading at a better price, we're going to give you the better price. But little do they know, you are probably morally trying to place an order above, a pending order above the market price, maybe anticipating a breakout to the upside, right? Instead, you got yourself into the current market price and you're filled at 60, 14 and a half. And that's not your intention, right? So that was important for, for me to demonstrate that first before I show you how to create the co correct configuration. However, for stop orders, it will, trading tool will not allow you to do that. So here's an example if I were to create a, an order preset for a stop order instead. So a buy stop, because we're still on buy here, we're not on sell, we're on buy. We got a stop order selected. A buy stop can only go above the market price. It can't go below the market price. So in this case, if I were to select negative four on the ask, look at that, that box turns red. If I hover my mouse cursor over it, it's actually telling me order price is not appropriate for this order type and direction. And when I go to create the, the actual order preset, I can't even hit save, all right? But it will allow you to create the incorrect order type on the limit side. So that's very important to understand it because the one thing you don't want to do is create an incorrect order preset for a limit order and you find yourself using this preset and you're just getting in immediately at the market price and you're wondering why. And the reason why is because you created an order preset with a limit order on the wrong side of the market, okay? So that's important to understand that before I demonstrate how to create correct order presets for limit orders, okay? But stop orders, it's impossible to make that, that mistake, all right? So just, you don't necessarily have to worry about it on the stop side, but you do have to be aware on the limit side. All right, so let me go ahead and delete now the, uh, the actual preset, the wrong parameters one. How you do that, you can click here, just cut the little trash can icon, it removes it out. Hit remove, and now it's done. So now let's go ahead and choose the correct, let's create a correct order preset. So buy limit, again, can only go below the market price. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna choose a rule. So negative seven is a good value. We'll actually change it to a round number, let's say negative eight. I wanna go ahead and attach a, uh, a take, take profit and stop loss OCL bracket as well. So eight ticks on the take profit, eight ticks on the stop loss. And this is gonna be valid because the offer price is 60, 14 and a half, and we're eight ticks below that. So we're placing a buy limit, as you can see, buy limit below the market price. Now we'll go here, save order preset. We'll just call it AMP, for example, hit save. And now let me show you the advantage of using these order presets. So if I open my trade ticket, I can go to my order preset, select AMP, and now you gotta click that buy button and boom, we got our order work. If we go here, orders, buy one contract at 60.12.50. Remember, it was an eight tick below the offer price. So right now, 14 and a half, exactly eight ticks at 60.12.50. And also, you have your eight tick take profit and eight tick stop loss OCO bracket order attached to it as well. So you can see how efficient that was. I didn't have to open up the order ticket. I didn't have to go here and enter all the parameters as I did initially to create the order preset. It's already there as a preset. And all I had to do was just click it and get into the in, in, get the order working right on the chart and I'm ready to go. All right, so, and also on the chart here, if you look now on the right side of the bid and the offer price, you have a little arrow, you also see your presets here as well. All right, let's do one more example. Let's go ahead and choose this time in a sell ticket. Let's actually cancel out this order. All right, we're gonna change this now to a sell. And since we already did the limit, let's do stop, okay? So now you'll see that because it's a sell order ticket, this changes to bid now. It does, it's no longer saying offer. Because typically when you're trading futures contracts, right, if you're placing market orders, usually what you're doing is you're buying the offer and you're selling the bid. That's why you see it change when you choose a sell ticket. You see it change the bid. And when you choose buy, you see it change to ask. That's generally um, what you see in, in many trading platforms. It's kind of a general rule. When you place a market order, you're typically paying the spread between the bid and the offer because you're buying, when you're buying at the market price, you're buying at the offer price typically. And when you're selling at the market price, you're typically selling at the bid price, all right? So now we're gonna go back to sell, we'll change that to stop, all right? Remember a sell stop can only go below the market price. So if it's gonna be based off bid, we wanna make sure it's a negative value, right? So negative four, that's good. Watch what happens though. If I go plus two, see how it turns red? Cause that's a bad price. So we're gonna go down to negative four and that's good. Uh, we'll go ahead and attach the state, take, lock, um, take profit and stop loss as well. But now we're ready to create the configuration. So we'll just call this AMP stop, for example, and hit save. All right, so then I'm going to close out the trade ticket and we're going to reopen it. And there it is right there. And boom, now we got to hit the sell button to apply it. And now you can see I have a working order. So remember, it was, I broke, it was four ticks below the bid price. So bid price, four, 14 and a half, exactly 13 and a half but it's an actual stop order, as you can see there. And there's our eight tick take profit, eight tick stop loss. So this is more like a trade that you're anticipating a breakdown to the downside to go short. 
and hopefully you'll catch that short. You'll be filled from, you know, at, uh, hopefully at a price of, of 60, 30 and a half, 13 and a half. Just understand stop orders and market orders. You're not guaranteed to get filled at your price or better like you would with a limit order. So just keep that in mind. You know, you might get filled. You might get slipped for a tick depending on what the market's doing. But this is pretty much the gist of how to create order presets. And you can see the, the benefit of it is you're able to create, you know, now if I go here, there's my first one that I created. There's my amp stop to the right of the chart. And now these are available for you to use at a future date. So again, recap, you want to make sure that when you're using limit orders, right, you have to be mindful that whatever you're doing, whether it's a sell order or a buy order, it's a limit order. You have to make sure that the rule that you have in place here on the right side makes sense because if, if it doesn't, you're going to be getting into the position prematurely and it's not going to do what you're trying to do and you're going to get yourself into a mess. So just understand that you have to be aware of that. For stop orders, you don't have to worry about it because the platform is not going to allow you to create an incorrect order preset for stop orders. And this is how you use the new order preset feature with TradingView.